welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of long-time friends and internet nerds transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons and & Dragons and critically fumble a lot. Although it seems to have been more critical, just natural 20s than critical... I hope you're not wasting all your natural 20s on this when you've got an ancient white dragon on the horizon. That would kind of suck. Sorry, but most of you guys have got have, have your 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 fate pool of nat twenties seems to be incredibly narrow, shallow, small. Anyway, previously, the the the, the cupcake coterie have spent the last few days in the Sullivan Plantation, um, effectively checking the place out. Collecting as many things as weren't completely uh, icked uh, for Sarah, um, who they rescued from just outside the blind harpy, and um, incidentally, uh, bring you know, resurrect the ones who they can who were killed as effigies of the party, which were left there basically to make you guys upset, terrified, and angry. And at least some cases, that has worked remarkably well. I mean, the house, the Sullivan Plantation has been a horror show from top to bottom. Currently, there has, currently there's a, a more than a little bit of a blizzard going on. And the house is, it's the only reason you can see out some of the windows and potentially step out the door is because Legolas the dire moose doesn't give a fuck about snow <laughs> but yes you were on day two if memory serves is you had basically you had nine effigies you re you revived the second batch of three and so there's just one more day to well half a day really to uh Revive the last one, I believe the Rylan effigy. He was left for last. Uh, but over the course of that particular uh, scenario, there was um, Clarity and Farida trying to uh, see if there's anything salvageable uh, from the uh, desk that uh, got frost breathed. Um, they found a lot of very, very soggy papers and Clarity left Farida to try to see if she could dry any of them out uh, to uh, chat with the others and incidentally go through Ryland's list of what the fuck is up with you people. <laughs> Come on, that is the title of that list. Um, yeah, pretty much. So, Farida, you are, just to very quickly cover what you were doing Well, um, these guys were trying to fill Rylan in on stuff that Froseth would have told you, and incidentally, uh, getting, hearing the, the, the amusing freak out about, uh, Moose trying to figure out who are these people in this room. Uh, how would you attempt to dry out some incredibly soggy paper without damaging it. Um. Hmm. Basically, uh, doing the best you can to lay them flat without damaging them and get some sort of heat source to slowly dry them. Of... Okay, the library does have a fireplace. Um, there is... Eh, now we're with the hand of fate. I swear I'm setting records for how soon into a session I have to roll the hand of fate. <laughs> uh, there's... There was one of those little wood piles, uh, but unfortunately, the library was in fact on fire. Yeah. Um. There's 
probably some usable in there. Not a whole lot, but... Uh, yeah, I can see you might have been looking at it, so uh, give me a straight-up intelligence check. Twenty-three. Yeah, but you have you have seen prestidigitation used to dry people. Yeah. Maybe fire okay. wouldn't be the best answer anyway, because paper yeah. burns. Even soggy yeah. paper does tend to burn. Okay. Uh, well, let's have a look and see how well you manage that. You, the, 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 the hand of fate in that instance absolutely loves you. Uh, that was a natural 20. My dice are like this, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Not just for me, at least, because it would be really, really difficult having to explain if it was only for me. And even worse, if it was only for the enemy. <laughs> what was it you called them? Purple Terror? Uh, purple Peril. Oh. <laughs> there are reasons for this, and I think only Brian knows them. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yes, uh, over the course of... Because this, this takes a lot of prestidigitating. Uh, mostly to try to make sure that the ink doesn't run. It's a very focused prestidigitation and uh, the single-mindedness with which you go through it is probably a little bit frightening to anybody who goes through, uh, although, and although you do sort of come up sort of halfway through your stack of papers and find that there is kind of a, a, a bread bowl of sorts with stew that somebody, probably Alice, has just left on the corner of the desk because she didn't want to interrupt shit you know <laughs> so yes after scoffing that down and uh and and probably didn't even notice the yelling about the moose because very very focused um you managed to dry out um a few bills of sale uh and a collection of letters um I mean, most of them are letters of introduction to you know, other you know, people that they might want to have breeding stock with for a little while. Some are from Sigwald. Um, mostly it's... Uh, I mean, it doesn't mention you guys at all. He just... In the most recent ones, as far as you can tell, there's uh, mention that he went back to his studies, um, kind of dispirited, I suppose you were right. I'm not really cut out for anything other than academia. And the absolute most recent one, which turned up about two weeks ago was an apology for not attending, you know, not coming home for oral miss. Um, there seems to be some transport issues, and besides, I am in the middle of this project, and I really can't just leave it alone. Give me an insight check, Faraday. Nineteen. Yeah, you're you're you are you are you are a book learning person. Reading between the lines, um first it probably skirted the subject of the at least uh, Samuel Sullivan, the, 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 the father being something of a speciesist asshole. Reading between the lines of this, he's going through every excuse he can possibly find to not go home because not because he thinks there's any kind of trouble he clearly has no idea what the hell is happening it's entirely possible that if the family has been writing letters he hasn't really read them um but he just he's he's cutting ties effectively it, he's basically 
deciding academia is my life now. Family, what's that? <laughs> but is at least learned enough to go, okay, I don't really want to be with the species as asshole. <laughs> He does seem to have, in a postscript there, he does seem to have sent a couple of little trinkets for Sarah. Neither, none of which, he did, the letter doesn't mention what they are. And, but nothing that you guys have found for Sarah uh, sounds like the kind of little trinket that you'd mention in a slightly excited, I hope she likes it kind of uh, you know, kind of feel to the letter. So there's a couple of bits that he really did mean her to have that are floating around somewhere. And yeah, that probably takes you to around dinner time where lunch notwithstanding, uh, you're more or less out of paper and you're hungry. Okay. At which point you can come and rejoin the group. Yep. With Alice A rummaging around in Hazel's bag of holding, uh, basically attempting finding you know, bits of supplies that she can put together for uh, something resembling dinner. Uh, I'd probably offer to give you a hand. Oh, that's it. Whether I need one or not depends on whether I find much of anything. We didn't exactly stock up overly well before we left. True. Although, if we haven't sent that lot back yet, uh, might be able to... I hate imposing on the hearth hearts, but we might want to... We, we were in a bit of a hurry. We should have considered this. And, you know, I, I'd hunt, but... Uh, Hunt no, and what there is might not be edible. Oh, hi, Farida. How'd it go? Did you find the lunch? You were really yes. focused. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I probably should have tapped you on the shoulder, but I don't <laughs> interrupt people while they're doing magic. That gets you yelled at or worse. Probably a good idea, yeah. Um. So, but mo mostly just... Letters from Sigwald to his family. Be summed up as making excuses for not coming home. Um, it does mention, like, there being trinkets he sent for Zara. So, nothing in that room looked to be what that would be, so... Well, if we didn't look that far into it, then again, maybe they were tucked somewhere else. Um, I didn't see a playroom or anything, but uh, man, I hope they weren't in the library, whatever they were. Yeah. I mean, we can always take a look in Sarah's room now that we know it's... Yeah, but the reason that we didn't was because the... you. I know, but this is... Might supersede that. Well, if it's something that Sigwald was that excited about, um, he, th as far as I could ever tell from you guys, the only thing that Sigwald ever got excited about was magic. So they might have magic. chucked it in the vault until she got older. Particularly yeah. if he wasn't keen on ever coming back, he probably just. Either that, or he did what you guys suggested that he used to do and not thought things through. For yeah, somebody who's know. for somebody whose specialty was divination, he really didn't think ahead that well. No. No. I I may be slightly biased, but anybody who 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 re says do not behave like that to her parents. I, I I have issue. Yeah, I still will never get over the the waiting until the literal last minute to ask if there was any other anything else to do about my mother. 
I'm sorry, I didn't hear about that one. Oh, yeah. Um, she, when the, you, the yeah, I, that that part I know about. Yeah, we we went back, and I quite literally ended that right yeah. before that was when he was when he decided is there any other way or no that wasn't what he said i remember i, I yelled at him going i don't know is there when he said there 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 must be an, there, something about another way and i'm like on the one hand asking the question period is 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 Nope. You were you were already geared up for it, and the exactly. last thing you needed was your resolve wavering. Yeah, I get it. And on the other hand, just that doing it right then, really, really. <laughs> just, you know, yeah. if we ever find ourselves in Belarus again, can I punch him? Oh God, I think Please. I'd pay money to see. I, <laughs> I think I'd pay money to see that. I'm no, oh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing lasting, nothing with blade. I just want to punch him oh, no, no. once. Yeah, I would. I would pay money to see to see him to see him get rocked and leave his feet. <laughs> if anybody could make that happen. <laughs> well, the, you 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 said you wanted to see the head go fifty yards. Fifty yards. You sure enough. <laughs> so, teamwork, bird fist bump. <laughs> Gods, I adore you. I I think I can put together some things. Um, Hazel, I'm going to use some of you. I, I, she's pulling out packets of those flat breads. It's just like, How the hell many of these things did you get? I think the answer to that is simple. The answer is yes. Did... <laughs> uh, you, I, so you, you did, did you it. You did a... You did, you did Barnabas with, with the fudge, except with flat bread. Bit. Well, we're gonna use some of it now, okay? Good. That's what I got it for. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Ava, you can watch and chop things if you want, but uh, most of the rest of this is going to be me. Crack, crack. Uh, I figure we can feed them in there one one more meal, so I should probably keep it moderately toned down. A little bit. Of course, we could ask them how they are about that kind of thing. I don't know what people in 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 livestock podunk eat. Be right back. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, they're, they're 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 all sitting in their various degrees of what even is my life right now. <laughs> And Darwin just kind of pokes his head into the room, just like, yeah. hey, oh, sorry, uh, quick question. How are y'all about spicy stuff? We're fixing some meal. Define spicy? I'm sorry, I have uh, to ask this, but you people are weird. No, that's totally fair. Um, well, we, I mean, a range from, from not at all to my face is melting. We can do pretty much anywhere in there. Is that literally... Uh, it feels literal, but it's not. Metaphorically. Alice is hearing this from the kitchen and just going, I shouldn't have sent him. I shouldn't have sent him. I should have, I sh I sh I should have sent somebody else. I should have sent somebody else. Too late. And they're, they're just like, um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, the, one of them is is so fucking terrified at this point that they they don't they they're that is all you're getting. Uh, 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 yeah, mild it is. <laughs> they're like, it's like, yeah. I mean, I know that some people do the really spicy just to feel alive, but we already feel pretty alive right now. We wouldn't mind a little bit, because no flavor at all is, like... Right. Like, I don't know if it's better or worse than blind harpy food. 
Bland is bad. Bland. <laughs> the thought of blind harpy food just makes Starvin's eyes go, oh gods. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 as long as it doesn't taste predominantly of salt and cabbage, we're probably fine. Can do. Yeah, I will say is chopping up bits of meat and carefully not looking at the door. <laughs> Little bit for flavor, but that's about it. Yeah, uh, it's mostly Remy and Ava who see Alice's lips thin on the. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. And Darwin's literally clueless. He, yeah, well, uh, she's she's got her back to him, so. Oh yeah, he did. He, for, uh, I mean, just even from the exchange, he's just like. <laughs> are they? Are they? We all in the same room right now? Yeah, you're all in. You're all in the kitchen okay. area. So, and you know, Ava's nearby helping chop things. So that's why she's seeing the. I am biting down on a comment right now. Like, I'm like, should I do an inside check on the people I can see? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead, if that's all right. I don't think anyone's hiding shit. And that's twenty. <laughs> yeah, you're more of even even just from the set of Alice's shoulders, as far as you can. Well, given she got a fair yeah. amount of wind, <clears throat> that it's the you. Had to say it. Fe it feels literal, didn't you? You had to say that to the traumatized Podunk Hicks. You had to say that <laughs> is what she is trying desperately not to say right now. Yeah, at which point he's <laughs> out the room. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize that all I had to do was look at look, look into a room to uh, develop the ability to cast haste on himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like seeing Alice say that dance. <laughs> <laughs> that That's more like that's one. it. <laughs> Absolutely not hiding that at all. You can see plain as day from his face. Oh shit! I fucked up. She's pissed. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Where does he go? Uh... That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, actually. He just kind of... In my head, it was just, go, now, go, now, go, Yes, but now. that that's that's the, you know, you wind up in the corridor, but is that far enough? Are you just going to stand in the corridor? Or are you going to go uh, to the fire ravaged library, the parlor with the people you traumatized? Gonna, he's going to he's going to get into the into the into the corridor, kind of look up and down, like okay, where haven't we looked at stuff yet? Vault, <laughs> and just go that direction, not actually go into the vault, but like go there and contemplate. Okay. Yeah, because I can't remember. I can't remember now if we actually opened it or not. Mm -mm. Didn't open the vault. You were waiting until you got people cleared out in case right. weird happened. I think there are still a couple of rooms that you haven't checked on the uh, on the ground level, but because uh, you basically just opened a couple of doors and got traps and fire, but. Given the uh, number so of rooms upstairs, there's a few downstairs you haven't opened up yet. Right. Yeah, and I'm not actually opening anything. I'm just, that's why I said, that's why I said, not going in, just contemplating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Eventually, you wind up with, uh, effectively, uh, I mean, they're not the kind of burrito that you would normally see because it's made from you know, bits of leftover roast and uh, what 
little you what little you can make that looks like salsa out of uh, what vegetables you can trust and a few of the various sauces that Hazel decided to pick up because the labels looked interesting <laughs> and Alice A really is just going did you just clear out an entire one of those shops at this point I think you know the answer I hope this shit wasn't that expensive honestly if you cleared out that much of a shop you're you're, you're, you're going into, at the very least, double figures of platinum. <laughs> well, okay, to be completely honest, I didn't uh, go that crazy, but I did get a lot of things because they just looked interesting. Yeah, I okay. am the definition of surprise me. I suppose if one of your adoptive parents was born in Agraf, it makes sense. <clears throat> so yes, burritos happen. Leftovers burritos. Mm. Okay, where'd Darwin go? Uh, I'm not sure. That away. God damn it. Does somebody want to bring him down to have food? He knows I'm not going to harm no. him. And as you're contemplating, you spent a fair bit of time contemplating. Ava peers down the corridor. You want some food? <laughs> She's not gonna hurt you, don't worry. I know, it was just space, and I figured I'd consider. I'm wondering, detect magic wouldn't go through it. I'm wondering if I could just do it on the door itself. But I guess since I did it before, if there was anything on the door, I probably would have caught it. Mm -hmm. So, Yes, you know enough about how detect magic works that it... If you look at it and it's magical, you will see that it is magical. He was just <clears throat> considering angles and stuff and just making, you know, just like, did I? <laughs> Probably uh, would have actually popped it. Just uh, actually, now that, depending on how long it was that he was there, he probably would have popped it as well. Oh, long, yeah. long enough to make burritos for like 12. Yeah, then he probably would have popped it just to, on the door itself just to see if there was Yeah, anything. that's the thing. Detect magic doesn't really work that way. Oh, right. Detect magic is just around you for... Like right. 30 yeah. feet, unless it's through thickness of metal, wood, etc. My bad. Gotcha. All right. So, yes, you come down and uh, effectively, Alice is handing three of the burritos to Hazel, uh, just going, you're, you brought two of them back from the dead and you're non-threatening. Go feed them, please. going to start heading in that direction quietly and unobtrusively as I can. Yeah, and the, 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 the one who was, who really was not quite listening when Darwin actually did say it was metaphorical is curled up at the corner of a, of a chaise long going mm -hmm. and the other two are just uh, what, are you, what even is my life right now? To, to, all three of them look in, in, in Hazel's direction when she comes in. Nye. What did he say? I get the feeling Darwin said something. The, the, the little heap of, of trauma in the corner of the chaise long is going, I like my face unmelted. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh dear. He did say it was uh, metaphorical, but after the. He likes his turn of phrase too much. 
plain speaking for plain folks. But no, no, we got us a bard. Yeah. Yeah. That that is essentially the case. Yes, he likes his turn of phrase quite a bit. So, face melting is not accurate. It's incredibly spicy. You will definitely have your sinuses cleared yes. out. Yes, well, those those no those melting. those ones aren't actually. Uh, Hazel and did see them. Made. Thankfully, are nowhere near that. These did not have the spicy application used. The little ball of trauma looks up from her knees and. Then... How do you make paper out of bread? Thing across the uh, the cliffs. Just stick with the cliffs. Across the cliffs, yeah, across the cliffs from here. They uh, there's an entire city of marvelous inventions, <laughs> up to and including this one. Yeah, because the, of the, the, the guy, food the food. guy is like, oh, weirdoville. Mm-hmm. We're eating weirdoville food now. A little bit. I, I got some stuff from there. It's not... Obviously, you, you said it wasn't going to melt your fa our faces, but is it going to make us change shape, explode, or change color? Nope. This is just essentially very thin bread. It's more what might be in the bread that I have some slight issues with, but if, 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 if you... Nothing of that nature is in the bread. Grab. Nomph. Damn, the weirdo of your little weirdos can cook. Oh, that's more Alice say than anyone else, and with the, our friend with the wings. The, the 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 little pile of traumas is going. She came down from the celestial plane to give us life and then give us tube sandwiches yes glances up uh, gods thank you but I'm sure you have more important things to be doing with your time than this and the other one just grabs the, the one of the burritos hands it to her just shut up <laughs> <clears throat> and Hazel might think, you know, you might want to tell them that you're sending them soon, but food is good, and if they do seem overly wary about them, you're fairly sure that Twilly and Miranda, Twilly in particular, will feed them. So... Oh, wait, let me uh, re start. To say that ba again, basically, I, basically, that you're going, you're going, you're going to be sending them to hearth home soon, and they should be prepared for that. Particularly the little ball of trauma on the chaise long, and if they do feel too wary to eat the tube sandwiches, Twilly and Miranda will feed them when they get there. Then again, Twilly and Miranda will feed them when they get there, regardless of whether they've already eaten, because that's what Twilly in particular does. I, I, that's mostly stuff that I internalize, but don't really think bears mentioning. But the bit about sending them soon definitely does. Right. Uh. So, your uh, gateway to somewhere safe is going to be uh, active again soon. So I'll we'll be sending you there. Uh, to Goldendale. The, the, the gentleman's like, isn't that the place that was like under martial law? Was. The cause for that was removed forcibly. Did you kill the Baron? The Seneschal. The Baron had, was being poisoned. The Seneschal was running the show.
I'm going to have to ask a lot of questions when I get there because I've missed something. Anyway, thank you. Nomph. Shiva. Well, can I insight check the ball of trauma to gauge her reaction? Mm hmm. She's calming down, but honestly, Arthrone will probably be good for her. It's just there's been a lot of magic and unfamiliar shit, and she came from a particularly traumatic experience anyway, so Dooley and Miranda are going to uh, have their... It, it, it's, a, it's a Shonira situation all over again. She's probably going to find a hiding place, and Twilly's just going to leave plates. And figure out if there's a way to word this to just tell her to uh, tell her that that that. It's most definitely safe, just the, uh, and that the folks are just enthusiastic about being helpful. I think that's actually, given your wisdom score, I think that's actually worded fairly well, compared to some members of the party who would attempt to say the same thing, and, oh, I'm not just talking about you, but... Admittedly, you are a uh, number one suspect, so yeah. <laughs> going to uh, sort of. Okay, she's folded up, so I'm going to crouch yeah. near the, her. The, 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 the burrito in both hands is just sort of occasional nibble. Nibble. But when you come up, so. Sort of... So. Just to go over it one more time, where I'm going to be sending you is 100% safe. Though the people there are going to be rather enthusiastic about help, about being helpful and kind. So expect food, more of it, and attempts to discover what your favorite food is. So like holiday dinners at grandma's. Except all the time. Something like that. Essentially, yes. Okay. Slightly bigger nibble. She's probably not uncurling anytime soon, but she does seem to feel a bit better. I give her a small comforting pat on the shoulder if allowed and... Kind of allowed, but still a... Just, just as delicately as possible before now. Mm-hmm. Yes, in the meantime... Giving her thumbs up and shuffling away. Yeah, in the meantime, but when, when she comes back in, I'll say just holds, holds out uh, Hazel's burrito. Somewhat more on the spicy end. I know what you like. I reiterate several previous statements, and I say, praise the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, by by this point, Alice has got everybody's spice level preference. Uh, changes it up a little bit from time to time, just to keep things of a variety. But uh, she's got to grips with what you're used to and what you could tolerate. Yeah, I've basically I just mentioned to. Twilly and Miranda that we're running low on some supplies that will probably be okay thanks to Hazel's bag of undue amounts of food but that we can't supplement with hunting so if they can spare anything that'd be great as I know what the winter's been like over there so it'd be helpful but 
And I found, I found food and weather worse than this, so if we have to manage, we'll manage. It's just a matter of checking everything we hunt up, especially as we get closer to grazing the town proper. And given the look of those dragons, anything smaller and less draconic, I guess, would probably get tainted a whole fuck of a lot faster. Yes, we best keep our eyes peeled for extraneous tentacles. It's not just tentacles. You, I mean, you saw under the uh, under the scales of those dragons. Mm -hmm. No tentacles yet, but it was just threaded in there. And given Bree and Barnabas's story um, about the uh, sapients not showing symptoms until they were murdering officers and tainting entire camps. Yet again, we got to be real careful about who we trust. These guys, not so much a problem because, well... They were freshly suffused by divine energies in order to be brought back in the first place. Also, you kind of got to figure that... I mean, okay, uh, trying to uh, lure us into a false sense of security by killing them so we can revive them and thus immediately earn our trust would be something of a power move, but I think that might be a little bit overcomplicated. Say nothing of the fact that I think just the amount of radiant energy that is required for this sort of thing would uh, oh, I wasn't, nullify... I wasn't just talking about taint. People have their own reasons for working with bullshit. It's also true. But again, I, I, I think that uh, being, being killed to become a sleeper agent, given how exhausted you are immediately afterwards... Doesn't seem like a workable plan. No, but... The only reason I brought that up is because, you know, apart from them, just about anybody we run into who's actually still alive. I hate saying it, but uh, we got to be careful about the, uh, the, the, the unearned trust. A bit. A lot of bit. Just everybody quietly nomping on their burritos. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Clarity is looking through, while she's eating, is looking through this book that she has. And um, she's frowning at it and says, this spell book is all misspelled. I, that, I don't know if this will actually Work the way there's, and then so she points at oh, Ava across the no, room. No, no, and Alice is just going, No, 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 I know what that is. That is a book of misspelling. Well, book of misspells. What's that? It does what it says on the tin. It means deliberately misspelled spells. And they do what they actually, what, what the misspelling says. That they're going to do. I mean, you can um, you can test, but please don't test on anything that might be unreasonable. Oh, this one's supposed to be message. I think. It's supposed to be is not reassuring. Clarence. Please don't tell me but... it's spelled massage. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not point at surprise me. Yeah, if, if you're gonna do that, do that to Hazel. <laughs> she takes best to that kind of thing. He doesn't want a massage. And I point at Hazel and cast it. <laughs> and yeah, it's 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 kneading the the back and the shoulders. It really yeah, did, for... didn't it? Oh, you know the stupid part is that this would actually be a very useful spell. If it were, you know, not 
piled in with the same. That's really nice. If it wasn't piled in with the same, with, with more of the with more error spells that are probably where a more the more hell spells. did you get that? I kind of forget. Um, <laughs> if your if your patron just stuffed it into your bag to be funny, I no, I think we found it somewhere. It's with the um the what's it the this thing and she's got the crossbow thing on her wrist. The that was in the fucking blue dragon's hoard. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that they had that uh -huh. and didn't realize that it was made of stupid? Well, it's not like she was getting it to use it. She was just getting it to have it. Oh, gods, I'm actually really glad you got that one because uh, if, if you didn't, then the kobolds would have got hold of it. <laughs> oh, no. That <laughs> and would have probably made that deal's day. Uh, I like I say I've heard of this. Where do you think it was made? Ah, so this thing, so this this probably would have just gone exactly as planned by Callus. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's some weird return to sender. No, it it's from what I understand. From we had somebody from Agraf and Tipsy Pixie about two years ago, and. Uh, it, the story goes around, you know. Um, basically, it's one of those things. You remember that shelf? Do you remember that that stall at the back of Sweet Tooth? Eat at your own risk. The toy stores have that too, and the bookstores. Yeah. That apparently was the. Um, don't remember which spring festival it was, but it was a one of those ones that's all about, you know, making people laugh because it's early spring and everything is soggy and miserable and horrible. One of one, one of the big ones in Egref anyway. Point being that that was one of their specials for that year. Uh, but apparently somebody took the joke too far. And started putting them in serious, in 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 the bookshelves of the of the bookstores, in serious places, and people just picked stuff up because innovation surprised me. All the rest of it, and so apparently these books of misspells have ended up in the collections of everybody from powerful archmages to. Groups of adventuring yahoos. <laughs> and blue dragons. Yeah, that's, that's almost a shame the blue dragon didn't use it. Would have been amazing. What else is in that thing? Because I never got to look at one. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> she... She takes she casts this sort of complicated looking thing, but she points to a, like a doorway across the room and you hear a, a farting noise. It's Telepoot. Oh no. That it really is a Gref level bad pun. <laughs> and Darvin Dar is holding on to the table to keep from sleeping in his seat because he's laughing so much. <laughs> yeah, that a... that oh that is that is brilliant. That that's ventriloquism except crazier. <laughs> Only an Egref. That's the best distraction ever. You just cast that somewhere, and everyone's like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think I think it's I think it's probably more people trying to deny they dealt it. Oh, that sounds like an amazing form of distraction. No one's paying <laughs> attention to, to their immediate surroundings, but they're more concerned with denying things or trying to figure out what just made that noise. Or uh, 
I love it. What? It's, no, it's it's it, it's perfect. I can I can almost hear your patron laughing was, her ass off now. <laughs> I was gonna say she's probably gonna be very happy with this. Of course, I can. I can also see Faraday trying not to crane her neck too far in your general direction, <laughs> and I'm sure. I but I know what you're talking. about. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. You know the problem with a face. You know. You know the problem with a face that size. It's really, really hard to do micro expressions when your face is not in any way micro. Also, please don't strain your neck that 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 level of bending does not seem healthy uh for dragon for dragonborns i think it is mm -hmm. it's fine <laughs> they're very sinuous yeah. sinuous that's the word thank you i i think i i think i will just speak for farida when i say um i'm sure she would appreciate it if uh, if you let her look at it for a few minutes because <laughs> she yeah. wasn't gonna say it because i'm because i, I Look at me being that used to the uh, silent rhyme hook siblings. <laughs> but yeah, you've now had the book slid towards you. Pick it up and start leafing through. Yeah, the the book of misspells is another one from my uh, my basically this this deck. Um, I think there's actually a volume two. Thinking about yeah. it, it might be. Yeah. It, it, there it, is. As someone who mm, wanted to hunt this down for myself. Yeah, well, it's one of the. It, well, no, I didn't mean the cards. I, although I did it, that as well. I think there's a book of misspells, volume two, in the oh, second. Oh, oh, my bad. Deck. Yeah. Yes, there is. Because <laughs> yeah, because I met him actually. He's a lovely guy. Probably the only reason I actually considered going to MCM this year because half the guest list was wrestlers. Yeah, I don't get it either. Yeah, there's, there's... You, 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 you piqued Nix's interest. No, I'm just confused, actually. Yeah, that, yeah that's a... that's Nix's confused face, not yeah. Nix's interested face. I mean, I... I am also intrigued, but I am more confused. <laughs> they couldn't get any decent guests. Yeah, there's a there's a con there's a yeah, horror convention I, I used to go to. That there's a weird crossover between hair metal, wrestling, and horror movies. How yeah, is that yeah, weird the... connections? I can see where they converge. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, but yeah. So there was a lot of all of those at one of the cons I used to go to when I was living down in Georgia. Oh, uh, well, the thing is, MCM has never had. Uh wrestlers at con before Oop. 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 Okay. Oop. okay we're back but yes uh, dinner continues apace with uh, Farida and uh, Clarity apparently sharing the book of misspells <laughs> probably giggling at each other with each other over it <laughs> oh more than likely and eventually it is time to send the uh, last of the well, almost the last of, batch two of the resurrected ones to hearth home via the door. Alrighty. Time for doors. Okay, well, when you open the door and usher them through, you see Keth sort of standing off to the side of the door, and when the three have kind of shuffled on through, just, uh, you get, he's holding a fair-sized sack, so you hear, yeet, and then Miranda, just before the door closes, what have I told you about using that one? <laughs> Because Hazel knows that yeet is uh, not a good word in Halfling. And yeah, it's... and it's is a terrible way to use that, but it's kind of amazing. Well, to be fair, Hazel, you're the one who started it when you pitched the sending stone at them with the word yeet. True. True. 
I just didn't expect it to catch on quite that well, considering Next what piece. it means. They're gonna do what the adults do. Sorry, it's just Hazel as the as the the responsible influence over a bunch of kids. Yeah. She's digging through the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'd trust her with the lives of any children in her care. It's just they'd probably come back with a lot of interesting new experiences and a whole lot of uh, new and interesting vocabulary words. It rummages in the bag. Oh, hey, look, we got rabbits. I just proceed to lay out a diatribe of, of, of halfling swearing with yeet being sprinkled in there a few times. Yeah, the, 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 the part of the reason why yeet is considered profanity in halfling is because, again, all the small races have a variation on the word yeet, as in to pick up and to be picked up and thrown. And in halfling, it's profanity. <laughs> This, this, this diatribe <laughs> with, a, with, with the, with the widest grin on my face ever. Ava doesn't understand any of it. She doesn't speak off. Like, no, Alice doesn't either. She's uh... language. <laughs> <laughs> You've been learning half late. You... Of course I have. <laughs> you you really are getting closer and closer <laughs> to the to the language teaching owl bear, aren't you? Does that mean I'm teaching you celestial? I wouldn't turn it down. Oh, there's a there's a there's a couple of godly types around here that could probably do with the learning a few uh, at least a few simple phrases anyway. So why not? Definitely would like to outside of the spell work. Yeah, because your pronunciation is shit and your syntax is garbage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You could like just you could just say it in halfling or common. You don't need to speak celestial for a for a, for a verbal component. You may have learned that from to be fair, if if the ones where you've got the syntax mostly right, you probably learned from Lyra. But the ones that you learned on Mount Pelor, you really didn't like listening to the people at Mount Pelor, did you? I mean, it's definitely got some garbling in there, probably because they, you know, they 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 talked in like they talked like this, and they didn't stop talking like this, and they just talked like this for hours and hours and hours. And, and hours. Alice, a smush hazel face. <laughs> Don't do that. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so where am I starting? Basic words or profanity? <laughs> Ooh, okay, hold on. I'm going to pull a pull a gold coin and flip that. <laughs> okay. Uh will evens be basic words or profanity? Basics. That's a one. Oh, You're learning is. profanity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So just flip it. Profanity is. Yeah. So um, for the next little while, as Alice is uh, uh, reorganizing things with the, with the the various bits of supplies and going uh at some point we should probably uh, uh thank candor and ramas because i think they were the ones that hunted and gathered most of the stuff that's not you know preserved but remy hazel and farida in particular will find as will darwin because the helm of comprehend languages uh, will translate it, it as close to word for word as it can Celestial is a tricky language to swear in. Um, on some levels, it's you know this this this, this you the, the equivalent of you rap scallion. It's it's 
very <laughs> staid and very mm. but then she's like those are the minor insults and then she goes into effectively uh descriptions of the parentages uh dietary scatological and sexual inhabitants of various of the nine hells and just some stuff that does not even bear thinking about <laughs> in terms of epithets when you get toward the uh toward the more extreme stuff even darwin just kind of goes blink blink and just slowly just goes <laughs> just... <laughs> well, I am I'm going to is taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like any for any anybody yeah. who's finding this too graphic can leave the room. <laughs> Cuz that's the thing, removing the helm of comprehend languages doesn't help because Alice does then give the full translation. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that that that's basically the evening. Uh uh yeah, tea, uh, cookies. Uh, Alice leans over to Remy towards the end of this and whispered, "They sent donuts again, but I'm not giving them. I'm not showing that they're there because I'd actually like to have one in the morning." <laughs> <laughs> I think that can be our little treat. No, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him one, but I missed them all the last time. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that 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 that's that's the that's the evening passed with the uh, uh, various forms of swearing in celestial. For Faraday, she even writes it down, which is uh, pr pretty interesting. Uh, celestial runes. I mean, clarity and everybody who was in that uh, the various temples you've been in have seen it written. It's a very runic language, so. Uh, Little tricky to manage if you haven't dealt with runic, al runic alphabets before, but uh, she's very invested in, you know, if Farida wants to learn the thing, uh, uh, Farida will learn the thing. So <laughs> when she's, you know, when she's done writing the various, uh, she includes a couple of the more graphic ones, but mostly it's the... Mostly for Faraday, it's the, the, the more general, you know, scoundrel kind of uh, things. And then she writes out the alphabet. That's probably about it, because tomorrow, weather depending, we're either going, well, I mean, we're going to, uh, we're going to raise the last guy. Um, and then we're going to have to try to be on our way somehow. I mean, I don't think the snow is going to melt any, but entirely, dip if it keeps snowing like this, it might not be just a matter of uh, going out the upper floor windows. It might be a matter of going out one of the chimneys. Or, you know... Then digging. No, no, because if, if it was past the chimney, the chimney would be stopped up. But then again, Legs has been clearing out paths, so ooh, I should probably go find him. Yeah, he's been out there quite a while. Though. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to leave him down in the cellar. Not true. That's a question of whether I'm going to be able to get him into the cellar. And if you enjoyed the apples, he might not be too opposed. It's not so much that, it's is the cellar door passable? Ah. Yeah, um, Alice A goes out with, you know, whoever, uh, might want to join her, but she's not expecting it because it's nasty out there. It's still blizzarding. I could rejoin her. Yeah, uh, but there is, it's, it's almost a racetrack around the house. And thankfully, Legolas has been smart enough to be trampling around the cellar door enough that they can open it up and, uh, get him inside so it's all a matter of whether it keeps snowing that hard overnight and having to bulldoze out 
But from that, you know, everybody settles into their various spots for the evening. And uh, since we're at about break time, we'll deal with the following day when we come back. And we're back, uh, settling in for the evening um, after uh, day two of Resurrections. Rylan, will you give me a wisdom saving throw, please? I am immediately concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Always be wisdom immediately concerned. Saving throw, a eh? <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> Perfect. I am mean. Oh, no. Lay on oh, me. boy. I can take it. Really? I doubt that. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I already have... Trauma disorders. This cannot possibly make it worse. This is this. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Generally speaking, you do not dream when you trance. Generally speaking. And in all fairness, at first you do not know it is a dream. Although you are seeing things that you should probably really not be seeing in any kind of logistical world, but that's a nat one, so you're you're going with it until you detrounce, basically. Pure darkness is not an unfamiliar feeling, sensation, sight for you. Not with what you have inherited. But this is different. Your shadows, the ones that you're used to, are almost comforting, almost protective. For the first time, it feels like the shadows are full of things that are going to hurt you. You are walking on a floor you cannot see, through a landscape you cannot see or feel anything in but shadow almost tangible enough to touch <laughs> this goes on for an indeterminate amount of time there's no way to tell time it could be seconds it could be hours it could be years sounds start intruding on your scene Horrible gibbering <laughs> noises coming from almost everywhere above, beneath, and to all sides. But you have to keep walking because if you stop, it's just going to get worse. You don't know how you know that, and you don't know how it's going to get worse. But the feeling is that if you stop moving, and if you start to run, that gibbering will catch up with you. And either it will devour you or it will become you or you will become it. You're not sure which. It's that last one that fills you with the terror. A moment or an eternity later... There is movement. You have dark vision. It's better than most elves, even. But you don't see much. These aren't your shadows. This isn't your darkness. This is a darkness beyond this plane or any other that you know. You see... What looks like a nine-year-old boy, dressed in a simple white shift, barefoot, blonde, human, badly wounded. When you look around, 
still walking, but you're having to skirt through a battlefield's worth of bodies. They're not quite elven, but they're all fey of some description. And the wounded little boy looks up at you with eyes that have seen far, far too much. My lady's newest protege might wish to rethink the terms of the agreement. And earlier than it should be, you've only tranced for a couple of hours. You will have one level of exhaustion for the day. And you cannot get back to trancing. The, everybody else is, is pretty much out. Look around. See that everybody else is largely still out. Fuck. <laughs> and just... I just start writing. Okay. Most of the rest of you don't sleep particularly well either. You're not levels of exhaustion bad, but Remy and Barnabas dream that last day with Carter's Combine them barely escaping with their lives and what became of almost everyone they joined up with. For clarity, it's the day her brother disappeared. For Darwin, it's putting his sword through his mother's heart. For Ava, the burning of her her manner. Hazel is that little little girl locked in that tower again. And Farida gets her own death over and over and over again. And Remy probably wakes up because uh, yeah. you guys do still get your eight hours, but Remy in particular wakes up because a flailing wing ends up brushing her in the face. And she's probably flailing of it too. Yeah, so it's, it's just, it's a, ah, hey, ah. <laughs> okay, we, we need, we need to stop the hitting. Whoa. Sorry, sorry. Mm. It's, it, it, I should be apologizing. I have more and bigger limbs. You okay? Not, not, not entirely. Bad dreams? Mm-hmm. I don't like the sound of that! Are you okay? Same. Mood. Whatever it is. Same damn thing, and if everybody else has had bad dreams, I'm going to be very perturbed. Oh. Yes, that, 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 that would not be a good sign. No, generally not. Um, I seem to recall that Hazel and 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 that that first paladin they were with uh, had, had sufficient nightmare to be getting on with while they were approaching Star Coast. I don't know if that's a good thing or uh, some uh, warning, but no, that was too. That's too much the past. And not uh, not very much the past for me, but too much the past anyway. 
Might be more threat than the morning. I, who can say at this point? But mm. we should probably check on the others if if they had anything like... I, I, I'm going to get one of the donuts before Barnabas does, but uh, if he's had the same thing, given the, the amount of shit you guys have to have nightmares about... He deserves donuts. Yeah, and, he does. And actually pushes up the uh, the the cellar door with uh, not any particular problem. Um, it's snowed some during the night, but it's not as bad as it's been. So you might actually be able to travel. Once the last resurrection is done, and then just like like let's just and so yeah, you guys wake up from various uh, bits of nightmaring by the sound of jubilant moose noise and trumple trumple trumple. Although given the the things you were dreaming about, I'm not sure that is a particularly good way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> And of course, Rylan is looking a bit haggard when y'all wake up. In scarf and books and pencils. Did you sleep at I all? I never sleep. Technically. Did you elf thing <laughs> at all? <laughs> yeah, I did. Do you want? Do you want to roll? Do you want to roll a Inside deception check? check. <laughs> do you? <laughs> I'm not trying to hide anything, so be my guest on this insight. Well, given that insight, uh, yeah, uh, not long enough. Technically, I'm not lying. Technically, you're not lying, but you are very much prevaricating, and a 23 will be able to see that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm going to get, get up, get at least a couple bits of medical kit for a basic once-over, and try to figure out... Sick, exhausted, what? Make me a medicine check. And Rylan, you now have it doesn't I'm doesn't fine, doesn't relax. doesn't seem to be sick, but it could be some something elfy weird. You like are aware he sure. probably oh, oh you are aware he probably didn't trance long enough, which is a little weird for you because you you don't know much about this, but You'd always heard that, you know, there isn't that much that can interrupt a trance beyond literal physical interaction. <sighs> right, okay. First thing I'm going to do, uh, amulet, and I'm casting Greater Restoration. Yeah, that, that doesn't actually do any good, I don't think. Uh, oh, reduce it'll undo exhaustion level. Okay, so yeah, you you do actually feel better, but it it wasn't like it restore it wasn't like it restored from anything illness related. It was just he was really tired. You know, just they were really tired, and you don't know why they were very tired. Okay, what what happened? What interrupted it to start with? Darkness, mostly. Wait a minute. Aww. I'm just trying uh, to you, you, elaborate. You, you, hear, you hear the the door between kitchen and cellar open up and going, If we're going to be talking about what happened last night, it needs to happen with coffee! Yes. That is a good Thanks. idea. Yeah, well, you're, you're coming good up. Point. You're coming up right behind her. Quiet sigh under All my right. breath. But first, you a question. You're going to explain this after we caffeinate everyone. But first, a question. How did everyone sleep last night? Not great. Lock shit. Uh, Solidly, very... but not pleasantly. A very, very scratchy. Horrible. Okay, not does good. the word nightmare mean anything to anyone in this situation? Again, very scratchy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get 
asses in kitchen now, please. <laughs> that includes you, elf boy, who keeps insisting I'm fine. <laughs> Darwin slowly shuffles in. The reason he's scratchy is evident on in the face that looks like he's been crying. Oh boy. It removes a donut Ryan, you from. Move or I will throw you in there. Yeah. Alice removes a donut, two donuts actually, one for Remy, one for herself, and then hands Barnabas the rest of the bag as he comes in. Oh, thank, thank you. I and... made sure to get one first. Nomp. <laughs> Walks it back to where coffee is percolating. <laughs> Barnabas eats one immediately, grabs another, then. Anyone, anyone else? Oh. Yes. <laughs> pass it around. Take one, pass it on. Yep. Um, Darwin will take one. And various bits of coffee before we we got we got bacon, guys. So uh, there's gonna be. I think I'm gonna try and make bits of the sausage and the bacon and some eggs and put them into those flat breads. There was a. a, 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 a Breakfast tube sandwich. Hmm. Well, that sounds great. Go with that, yeah. Once Darwin but... sits down, he's gonna drain, probably drain his one of his one of his uh, water skins or whatever, whatever yeah. water is near it is close to hand. So okay, um, I'll go first because I know what y'all are like about talking about the things what bug you. Um. My dreams alternated between being flung off airship tower and the whole incident with my apocalypse cultist asshole parents. Re? Uh. The cave in the south with the combine. Same. Hazel? Damn tower again. One more reason to kill the knife-eared bitch next time I meet her. Ava, do I have to ask? Same old, same old. Darwin, do I have to ask? Mom. Faraday, do I have to ask? Uh, well, me dying. On loop. All night. Mm. If if somebody was directly responsible for this, do you all trust me to make sure that they suffer? Yes. Yes. If so, if so, let if so, then let me have them. I promise I will make a show of it. Someone must be behind it. It can't be a coincidence. We all had similar nightmares. Clarity. No. My brother. Um, Rylan, you look a little fragged. But you don't... Does trancing generally involve dreams? I don't really know enough about elves to know. Not usually, no. But this time it did, didn't it? They we were exhausted enough darkness to, than to usual. cast. We're going to need you to elaborate, my friend. And I just, like, set my notebook down on the table and just there's a couple of words like scribbled repeated over and over in a couple of different languages mostly protege with a few question marks image it like really shitty images of the child a possible connection to dragon bitch question mark Hey, anybody who's looking at this, can you... That's gonna have to be intelligence, because that's... That's code bullshit. What? Protégé? Who's protégé? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I... I don't entirely know. I wasn't given that. I was just told that someone had a new protégé, and it was... 
apparently fucking shit up and so okay no 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 i'm gonna oh, did i misinterpret my word you words? did have to um this what the child said was basically tell the lady's protege that she might need to revisit the deal the terms of the deal specifically yes i remembered words wrong thank you yeah, I had a feeling that there there might be a yeah. Unfortunately, a fourteen isn't gonna do it with the with the code word. Something about something about needing to revisit a deal. Wait a minute. Priority. Uh, okay, percep yeah. perception check for the drawing for. I mean, specifically, that's Remy Barnabas. Clarity, Hazel, and Darwin. I'm not sure if Ava saw this guy. Yeah, the the drawings don't make a whole lot of sense to uh, anybody but Hazel. And Alice seems almost sure, but not quite. Yeah, that's that's is in her majesty's page who mostly works for her majesty now uh, clarity a little the herald yeah oh, with oh. with with uh with with within with an aid on perception you mostly know when hazel flags it up i think i did see him well either way we've 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 more or less got it now but uh you've met this person yes they're a direct subordinate to an archfey my oh. archfey oh <coughs> okay. what else did you see because you seem really uncertain about was there something wrong with what this how this kid was talking there was something wrong with the rest of the scene if that makes more sense. You know how I can do fuckery with shadows? Yes. Those shadows are like weighted blankets, almost, to me. The shadows I saw were made of ick. Um, also, I'm going to remind you that the child was badly wounded and surrounded by a lot of dead fey creatures. I was going to get to them. Uh, just, the make, just, just making sure that... Cause <laughs> Look, I know that some of us have some some neurodivergence issues, so I... Anyway, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. The kid was hurt really bad. Must I think I must have stumbled onto them in the middle of a battlefield with all the bodies I saw and whatnot. The kid was hurt. Mm -hmm. And the bodies, I have... take it, were dead. Very dead. What kind of, of bodies? Of... A lot of them. I don't think I saw one that wasn't. Apart from the kid. Apart from the kid, but the kid was alive enough to get words out. Uh, what kind of bodies was the question? Yeah, he. Th they, they said Faye. So, something managed to not only massacre, something according to this vision, I guess, will either will or could massacre a large number of Fae and hurt a direct emissary of an Archfey, which would, they be an arch, which basically would be an Archfey in and of themselves. And they mentioned the deal. Your deal, I take it, Clarity? Yeah. That's why she's my patron. I get something out of the deal, too. Maybe not anymore. I think it's worth no, asking her if she no. knows anything about this. Oh. I don't think she'd take I am so sorry, Clarity. Yeah. 
We don't know anything. There is a, any number of things this could be. Mostly what I'm seeing is that Her Majesty, if this is about the deal and this is about the terms of it, well, first of all, the kid suggests that Her Majesty is still there to talk to. But what it means, I think, is that she cared enough about honoring the deal that she risked that to honor her end. Yeah. But we don't know anything beyond that. We don't know if that was... It could have just been that they couldn't go the direct way they meant to because there is something in the way. We did say that you know that because of Aaron getting rescued they'd be more assiduous in keeping things away from that We don't know anything yet. That's the fucking worst part. Not knowing. Yeah. I'm not going to make any kind of insistences here, but you're... She's your patron. The only one who could ask is you. No. Hands, coffee, a breakfast burrito with extra bacon. Thanks. Pat on the shoulder. Gives Hazel a look like, why are you not hugging her right now? <laughs> because I was. Well, no, she's not saying it. It's character. just. <laughs> yeah. One out of character because I was waiting for a space where I wasn't going to interrupt someone to do so. Fair enough. Yeah. But that that's it's then the look is more of a that's your cue. <laughs> yeah. Which is basically. Yeah. I'm, I'm heading. I'm going to essentially. Hug or pull Clarity full on into my lap, depending on what's easier slash more comfortable. She lets herself be hugged, but it seems a little closing off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alice I is kind of you know, putting breakfast burritos down in front of people and in most cases a one arm hug as she passes by you know, she, she knows better than to do that with uh, with with clarity but even rylan gets a you know, burrito and one hand on the shoulder a little bit of a ruffle of the hair more than anything else she's not sure that rylan's for hugging yet but it's all it's almost the same thing, frankly. Just pat. I don't know if anybody wants some alone time. It was up early enough that I don't think I'll need. What about the rest of you guys? I'm alright. I'd like to get moving. Well, we've got some stuff to do first, and I don't really want to resurrect somebody to this. Mm -hmm. I, Hazel, you need to be here, more or less. I'll, I'll do this in the parlor. 
and for the first time you guys have known her it's sort of she's left the, the coffee and the breakfast while she goes to get shit done which is probably your only real clue that she's not in a great state either she's just a lot better at hiding it Clarity's just taking slow sips of her coffee and just sort of staring at into space and like just with the biggest frown on her face. It's bas it's basically uh, what's her name? The little ball of trauma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what you do. You make yourself small and just. <laughs> gonna quietly lean and uh, basically just offer physical proximity slash comfort as best I can. And as she's finishing up her coffee and eating only about half of the food that's uh, set in front of her, she's like, I guess I have a conversation to have. My lady. Yeah, she is more or less just, her majesty has more or less decided that she doesn't give a fuck and does appear in full battle array in point of fact. And this is, you don't know what this armor is actually made of but it looks like it's made of pure diamond faceted so that you can't see through it but she's sparkly and relatively well armed it's like there's a there's almost a Kraya Bendis warrior queen look to her except with that shiny feyness to it and it's at this moment that Alice comes in with the uh, with 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 the with the Rylan, um, mm. and this guy just freaks right the fuck out. A ta oh, fuck! He was bad enough with me. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'm gonna go and grabs her burrito. I'll just give him this. Bye. <laughs> Oh. I seem to make accidental mischief wherever I go. It must be a talent. Hello, dear. I'm surprised to hear from you at this point. I was hoping not to make her any kind of report to you at this point, but I see that you very much would like me to do so. Where are you getting your information? Well, Rylan here, um, I don't believe you've met, um, had a nightmare and your herald was in it. Steps over to Rylan. I mean, this is... Hair of the color of a raven's wing, as in black with the purple and green streaks through it. The eyes seem to change color from iridescent sort of blues, greens, like opals. And she steps up to where Rylan is sitting, crouches down so that she's looking them right in the eye. <laughs> well, I suppose I can see why. You're a little bit shadow tuned, aren't you? That's not going to be a good thing to be for a while. No, clearly not. But apparently useful, if a little precipitate. Yes, um... At the moment, we are at something of uh, an impasse. See, there appears to be a... 
something massing in the spaces between. And it's been enough to more or less uh, do some problematic things to, thankfully, my husband's army. He did rather leave it behind. So I haven't actually committed any of my forces to that yet, but none of them actually want me to go into battle, but I did make a bargain, so the, report, the reports I'm getting are a little all over the place, if you want honest truth, but mostly what it, I've got is we've found the pocket. It's just a matter of getting into it and then trying to get somebody out through what appears to be a, a problematic number of unidentifiable squiggly things. Oh, joy. Like I say, something uh. is massing in the spaces between. And unfortunately, it seems to be massing around this particular pocket. Why they're guarding it so heavily, I have no idea. But maybe they're not. Maybe it's just a convenient place to camp. I don't know. We're still trying. Yeah. Thank you. Although I will say, I'm not entirely sure that your hearth home is going to be the safest place for this individual if we do manage to get him out. What do you mean? Well, that much ick, was it? Around is, and I mean, let's face it, elves in general are they have very long lifespans, so they're minds are a little better suited to extended periods of time in general. With that much ick and that much s sensory deprivation on a human, it's going to be difficult to know what's trauma, what's fixable, and what's ick, was it? Yeah. We're going to have to find a safer place, I think. Definitely so. I do, however, have some information if, uh, if, 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 if that be of uh, help. And uh, part of why I'm thinking that the hearth home is probably not the safest place in the world. With love information. Well, um... They're very much upset about, um, we thought that one was dead. What does it take to kill those little silver fuckers? None. Um. They're apparently entirely threatened by the presence of those little silver fuckers, both of them, even though one of them is... There's still one that's still just a child. It's just not the same one. Apparently it's worse now, somehow, because the one that adult is an adult now is not the one they wanted to be an adult now, or something? You mean they might target her? I don't know. I just know that they're not happy about the situation. I can't really make any guesses about what they're thinking, because what they're thinking is... Ick, as you put it, and I don't want to put my brain in there because if I put my brain in there, it's not coming out. And can you imagine this uh, with this power being ick? Do, do, do you want to consider that? Bad idea. Incredibly bad idea. They're also particularly not thrilled about uh, the celestial being is still there. They're really not happy with any of you right now. Hmm. So, yes, I am thinking that somebody who spent any time in proximity with it probably shouldn't be near one of those little silver fuckers. Does that sound like a good idea? They're also not yeah. very fond of the little paladin. Oh. Apparently anybody who's keen on Bahamut is just a no. Uh, I don't think they know about you. You've got a 120 in 
Yeah, it's looking, he's going... Yeah, too. Oh, really? And Bahamut's happy with this, is he? That's not the Bahamut I know, because you are getting that, you little fucking coward! I mean, I, and I personally understand the sentiment, but... Uh... Not... Surprise! Yes, but there was, there was, uh, it actually takes Darwin's form to, that, and, and, and in his voice, that's not surprise, that's relief. I, there's, it, the element of surprise is still there. That's not something they know. The less they know, the better off we are. And it's still in Darwin, that's fair. But you cannot deny, given that wince, that it was also relief that you weren't going to be targeted straight away. Never mind who actually is going to be targeted straight away. And back to her battle form. Arvin, just right now, stop. I'm gonna step points at Rylan. They're not happy about you, either. <clears throat> I assume as much. Well, not for quite the same reason that you think. In fact, sort of the opposite, if you think about it. Because, you see, you look at it as you went to the place with the dark ick as some kind of torture or punishment, that kind of thing. Has it ever occurred that it might have been an accident to show you things you were not meant to see? dream when Tronson usually doesn't do that. So. It hadn't until now. Maybe. You mean that wasn't a threat to us? Yours might have been. I don't know. But that one... You see, you used to have the other uh, little silver fucker um, being able to be in touch with what your enemies were doing via the elements. That's not happening anymore. Looks like now you're getting in through the shadows. That's actually kind of neat. I mean, not for you, obviously, but in general, in the grand scheme of things, that's just really neat. You're going to be incredibly useful. Just... Get ready for a lot of seeing things that man nor elf was meant to see. Pa, pa, pa. Hmm. Rain, that is not a sentence that makes any sense. About me having to yell at myself above board. This is fine. Sorry, I was I was about to say I have been mulliganed. And I don't think anyone will understand what that joke is. Yeah, um, I think most of us will understand what that joke is, actually. Not what you think it is, either, Alex. I I understand what it is, but, yeah. Yes, and... As I say, uh, that's that's the information you have. You seem to have a, 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 a spy in the ranks. And they're really not happy about the little... The... The right or wrong, depending on your point of view, little silver fucker uh, being among your party. And there's apparently too much connection with gods, celestial beings, plane walkers. You're apparently a little bit too special and they like you all to uh, fuck off and die. You're not going to do that, Count though, are you? Counter May I offer a counterpoint? No? There you go. See, I like that. That's 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 the meepiest bravery I've ever seen. You have the most wonderful traveling companions, my champion. Now, we like I say we are still trying, but there might be some issues. And I'm trying to figure out whether I should actually listen to my advisors when they tell me that I shouldn't take the field because... Ick. 
Well, <laughs> we wouldn't want you contaminated. Well, that's true. I imagine your gifts would get very, very strange. Well, first yeah. consider it yourself, an entity of your power con corrupted by that. Bad news. Oh, dear. That's not a very pleasant thought, is it? Not, no. not, mm. not that, but spaces between, you see, uh, are full of the, the thing. And I'm not generally all that concerned about what my husband gets up to. Oh, no. I mean, yeah. you don't really know how your way home works, do you? No. Maybe it's just as well that my husband had it and you didn't. There's uh, there's ick out there in the spaces between. And if you had to go mm -hmm. through them, uh, like punching through ick, but without the kinds of protections that you have in your stable form, I imagine, oh. probably. That's probably not a good thing at all. Yes, and then I'm just considering them. If if it does work that way, because I, I can't be sure, uh, it's entirely possible that my husband went through, uh, I believe the term I heard once, don't ask me what it means, but car wash of ick. Sploosh. Goodness, I hope he didn't go anywhere pleasant, if that was the case. Mm. So no, maybe I'll stay out of between. I'll, I'll 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 stick with the safer roads. But I just wanted to check with you to make absolutely sure that that was a thing. Because after all, I gave my word that I would I would do my absolute best. I mean, I I want him back, but I. I don't know. <laughs> I certainly don't want you to get corrupted. My page is usually possible. my page is usually better at this, but he's recuperating at the moment. So what, I'm going to ask you. Okay? He'll Maybe be. He was alive when I saw him. He'll be fine eventually, but um. I'm going to ask a question, and I'm not going to ask it in the best possible way, because I am a creature that acts according to her nature, and my nature is a little bit everywhere, and it will probably sound entirely wrong somehow, but words have to come out, or butterflies do, so I'll, I'll try words. Words will probably work a little bit better. What do I do if your brother is corrupted? There's, there's no coming back from that, is there? Not that anybody's found thus far. Um, <clears throat> your, your, your wings. I'm, I'm so impressed. That, that, that was the, the turns to Remy. That was mischief on a whole other level. Thank you. But that one's done some reading on the subject, and this one's uh, adoptive family had some things to say um once it touches your soul there even if you killed them and brought them back it would still be there then then put him out of his misery you would probably not want to see him in that state Probably not. I have to ask, you see, because I don't really understand how mortal minds work. I probably wouldn't want to see that, but sometimes glances at the, the corner where Darwin is currently, uh, sometimes you have to see it to make it real. I don't know which of the which side of that particular 
balance beam you're on. Lost my brother a long time ago. I'd rather remember him as he was. All right. Grab a hand, squeeze it. I will keep trying, but again, there's there is going to come a point where I don't have anything left to throw. Yeah. But until that moment comes, I will keep trying. The most important thing to me is that he isn't suffering anymore. I'll still do what I can. That little plush kitten thing. Do you have it? Yeah. And she pulls out Sapphire. Sapphire's looking at like mm. takes it. Pet, pet, pet. And Becomes a little more realistic looking, except for the multicolored wings. She'll be flesh and blood for an hour. She'll keep the wings when she's plushy. I have a ridiculous way of trying to cheer people up and hand through this. And you do get the and actual purring. And gives a salute and... Okay, he not, and she takes off out of the room with the cat. Okay, where's she gonna go? Into a hallway that's out of the way, just cry, hiding as best she can. Yeah. Um, when Alice hears that, she pokes her head into the kitchen, going. I'm not going to interrupt her because I remember when Barnabas was having this, but uh, Hazel really quickly, can we get a door? Because when things have calmed down a little, we still have the vault to check and then we still have to do what we have to do. All right. Where, where, where is he? He's in the parlor. Heading to the parlor to meet our newly revived and panicking individual. Yeah, he 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 actually looks like Rylan often looks, completely at sea and just. I I have I have I have, I have too many things and I'm I'm really stressed out about them all. I can say with absolute certainty that you will have the time to sort through all of that. And the care to help you do so. Just what here, was what was not that? What where yet? Yes. What was that? I didn't want to ask the the other one. I need to ask. What was that about? What was that? We are allied with one of the Archfey. And you've never seen anybody back up that fast in your life. <laughs> And wham against it. What? Not as her servants. I'm still very much a cleric of Taylor. And, well, the one with the wings is still very much the essentially daughter of one of Paylor's attendants. I go from talking to kings to this. Uh, sorry. Kings? Well, king. Would... Singular. I think we've only got the one. If it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to elaborate? I, I, I was selling horses to the Black Crown Guard, and they invited me to the throne room. Oh dear. They apparently, they, 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 they did that honored guests in 
scare quotes and then I got chucked into the dungeon and 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 the king doesn't look like I thought he was gonna look at all. Oh. His teeth were wrong. This has been too much week. And you're going to and you're going to go to uh Golden Dale, which will I which will be far better for you compared to the week you've had. Okay. Wait. Are you are you the traitors? The ones that the king would probably prefer to as such, yes. Yeah, you don't want to go near any crown's guard ever. Or if you do, you probably don't want to get taken alive. They said something about a, a, a change of world view. That seems accurate. Uh, to elaborate, add more to your week, so I, I will refrain from doing so. Okay. Can I not be here now? This place is full of too much weird. Uh, nod, uh, find a door and key yeah. through here. Twilly chucks another bag through as she's ushering this individual in and what you have in there is her uh, uh, good sized jug of her uh, extra special uh, only for emergencies and special occasions uh, maple sugar mead some of the cookies and more donuts apparently Alice had a word I'm going to I'm actually waving up yeah, well, by the time you look, the six seconds is done, because you're just, oof, and then... And then you look in the bag, and... Ooh. Okay. I'm going to head back to where everyone else is. And Alice is currently poking at her now-gone-cold burrito. And I'm going to produce the mead canister. What is that? Emergency mead. Yeah, you're going to want to bring some of that to Clarity, I think. Um, once she's had a few minutes, but... And also, just producing the other stuff in the bag. Cookies and donuts. Cool. Uh -huh. I did mention we were having a bit of a day. Also, at the very, very bottom of the bag, there is a folded piece of paper, which, when you open it, is just a clumsily drawn bluebell. And, uh, dear Clarity, hope you're doing okay. And L. Candor. <laughs> I'm going to, given the opportunity, uh, once once roughly enough time as Alice said has elapsed, get a cup or a mug full of the stuff and go to find Clarity along with the carrying letter. Hmm. Yeah, the timing for these two that's got reasonable wisdom is uh, good enough. So Clarity can probably about face one person. If it's the right person, which... He, Hazel hears a little voice from a, one of the, from a shadowy corner. But yeah. Going to move over there and set down the mug. 
What's this? Emergency need from home. She looks at it and takes a big swig. Yeah, it's 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 a nice maple sugar sweet burn. And to add to that, I hold up the letter for you. Is sweeter than he would like to let on. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny because Henry would have really liked Her Majesty. If I get my mischief from anyone, I get it from him. We used to do all sorts of things, to, you know, as kids. Um, play little tricks, harmless things. Um, I would be the one who would get in trouble. She points to the horns. My foster parents thought I was corrupting him. I, uh, I... It was more the other way around, really. In a hug. I'd say you got the best. You you got the uh, best things you could have given you. A fondness for shenanigans. I don't know. I know it's all fresh and stuff, but it just all seems so pointless right now. Yeah. It seemed that way. I'm... I'm trying not to give up hope on him. I really am. It's not easy when you get news like that, but I'm going to need some help with that, I think. And, you know, you're the best person for hope that I know. I'll help carry the, uh, the weight as best I can. Yeah, if I get too sad or stuff like that, just sort of poke me in the ribs or tickle me or something, or, you know, give me a wet willy. Okay. Current, currently, currently, from somewhere in your lap, there's just a sapphire paw and meow. <laughs> commit to an act of surprise me you say so i'm going to reach into the bag produce the bag of beans just pick a random one and go uh into your face or her face mm, my face you have onion ring <laughs> <laughs> those breaded onion things how they got that flavor and the texture is just wrong, but... Texturally, this makes no sense. <laughs> breaded onion things? Yeah. That. <laughs> I'm essentially doing the, the half-up equivalent to the Muppet Scrunch, because it's just like... It's <laughs> becoming a, sort of a vaguely green sphere with the bow and the hair just floofing in all directions out of sheer well, what the fuck. Remember, your hair now floats rather than <laughs> Yeah, just, just like increasingly floaty. Clarity's gonna grab three and pop all of the three of them in her mouth at once. One, two, three. Uh, you get butter toast Lamb shank 
and sardine. <laughs> there well, we those go. Those two kind of went together, but then the last one really didn't. <laughs> I have to perpetually thank Barnabas for this, 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 this. Given the sheer number of them, I don't think we're running out of chicanery anytime soon. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, your hand of fate rolls were uh, <laughs> eh or crap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, that was a ten, a nine, and a two. The sardines <laughs> were the two. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. You okay. got you got a you got a four. <laughs> Apparently, my dice will generally throw roll will generally throw low numbers when it's funny. <laughs> One universal truth is besides being in Goldendale, that just regular time in that graph is going to be a thing. Yeah. We'll go together. Often. And you can start so many more rumors. <laughs> I'll have to think of some good ones. An endless well of them. All giggly and sparkly and made of just that bit of goofery boink this sort of app hey hazel mm. i love you you too <laughs> and it'll not not unlike the cat mm. a point of fact that is the first time she has ever said that to her oh Oh. And after a few moments of just sort of silently leaning and against each other, she's ready to go back. Yeah, yeah. Was, we're a bit past time, but I didn't want to interrupt that one. So mm -hmm. um, we can recommence your journey in two weeks' time. So we'll actually be getting to the plot bits. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you all in two weeks time if not before and uh, thank you for uh, having somebody else have the angst baton for a little while <laughs> 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 later guys <laughs> <laughs>